Here's everything you need to know about CS2's new update. First off, let's take a look at the skins. The op chrome cannon looks absolutely sick. You're going to be seeing a lot more skins like this in CS2 that take advantage of the new engine in upcoming cases. And you can now also inspect skins in first person like I'm doing here. The AK Inheritance, maybe not so much as it doesn't really have the glossy effect, but it's an incredibly clean AK skin. And as I scroll through a lot of the other interesting skins, let me tell you guys about the general updates. Smokes now cast shadows and their rendering and animation has been improved, just some light quality of life stuff but they look better in game. You can also now refund all of the items you bought in the click of a button. Disable first person bullet tracers and some other various changes regarding stuff like just general for just walking around in game. There's tons of issues that have been fixed, not only walking into other players being extremely laggy and jittery, but throughout pretty much every map, especially in the update notes, you could just scroll through the update page and see one word repeated a bunch of times. Collision. Collision causing the bomb to become unreachable, collision causing unpredictable player movement, adjusting collision, fixing various gaps in invisible boosts, collision on pillars, collision so utility doesn't fall out of the world, so many collision updates that this video will be twice the length if I went over all of them. But you get the point, they've really touched up collision. But if you have a bunch of junk in your inventory, Skins Monkey is a great place to get rid of it. Not only do you get a free $5 bonus on your first trade when you sign up with that link in the description, you can also get a 35% deposit bonus while depositing with cash, crypto, or any of the other methods. And even if you don't want to trade, they have free daily giveaways to enter as well. Thanks to Skins Monkey for sponsoring, once again, link in the description. This is what the Kukri knife looks like in game, and it's definitely the most unique animation out of any knife we have in CS2. It's nothing like before, nothing like anything we've had in CSGO, and it's actually really nice to see it in its own standalone case, because I think it actually deserves it. It's a really nice knife and really good to see. I know people didn't really like it at all when it was first leaked in the game files, but this animation definitely does make up for it, along with the fact that it's got the OG knife skins on it as well, which means we're going to be seeing some really cool blue gems in the near future on this knife too. XP Overload is a new concept introduced as well. When you earn all of your normal weekly XP and energy reduced XP gain, you'll get an XP Overload icon that'll show up on your profile, scoreboard, and kill feed. And for every week you keep that XP earning streak alive, that icon will get an upgrade. If you don't reach it for a week, it will disappear though. But it's a great way to show that you play this game way too much. Custom sticker placement is arguably the most controversial part of this new update, but it's been a long time coming, honestly. Not only can you apply 5 stickers to all weapons in game now, but you can place them almost anywhere on the weapon that you want to. You can also rotate the sticker as you'd like and even overlap stickers if you so desire. And of course, somebody has already made the first 5 times Cato 14 Holocraft that looks absolutely incredible. There is so much potential for what you could do with this. There's a lot of bad sticker crafts I've already seen happen with this, but I've heard a lot of people very worried about this crashing sticker prices or lowering craft value, but I honestly only see a positive future that comes from this. It's a really unique update. And I'm glad to see it. I don't think there's going to be any negative side to it in any sense. The Zeus has received a significant change too. Not only did it get its first skin, but can now also have sticker crafts on it alongside with name tags. It also recharges in 30 seconds across all game modes, so the Zeus meta has officially begun. We also have a new sticker capsule in-game alongside 6 new music kits. With the sticker capsule that's available in the in-game store for $1 and will be for the very foreseeable future, Valve did make sure to include lenticular stickers and thankfully they didn't forget about them because they looked incredible in CS2, alongside the hollows that are going to make for some really good crafts, and keep in mind we'll have major stickers in about a month or so, so we're really going to be in a good place for crafting and stickers in general. Valve has given us a ton of content there. And of course, Arms Race is back and better than ever. With the two returning maps of Baggage and Shoots now of course on the Source 2 engine, not too much has changed in that department, but it's good to see Valve finally being comfortable to reintroduce some of that stuff from CSGO and that the maps are looking good. Hopefully Danger Zone is going to make a return soon as well. We know soon Valve time doesn't really mean soon. 
And there is also a few other things spread miscellaneously throughout the patch notes, such as you being able to queue together with a wider range of CS ratings, and most importantly, but snuck in there, some networking issues that have been fixed that should make holding angles a lot easier, or at least possible in CS2, as they've reduced Peeker's advantage in many such cases, reducing Peeker's advantage in the steady state by 16 MS. So if you're just holding an angle and somebody is peeking into you, there's a 16 MS more delay for the person peeking. So hopefully Peeker's advantage is way less of a problem from what I've seen. This update really did a good job in fixing it already. I haven't played in game yet, but apparently it's really good. Beyond that, just some minor changes such as more end of match accolades and more match animations for unique agents at the end of the game, and apparently this new potential hint at weapon charms has been found on baggage off this new update. So there's much more to come, once again, in the quote-unquote near future. We don't know how near that's going to be, not very much probably knowing Valve. But check out Skins Monkey for that free $5 bonus as well. Link at the top of the description. Be sure to subscribe as well, and I'll see you guys next one. Peace.